right. All right, guys, good afternoon, All right? Welcome to our week seven, All right? Week seven and our sessions here. All right. So when I actually go through with your lecture class, yes, I do believe, right? Okay? As we actually have planned, uh, other than working with the Photoshop, so we to work with After Effects like with Batman, Okay, if you check a look, um, maybe today I might going to give you guys for this session because uh, because uh, our first sessions I didn't notice that I forgot basically we can actually use that uh, after effects there, right? Okay, for the animations stuff for the compilation, all this kind of methods there, right? So uh, with this recording session that we have for this evening, hopefully it can be worked for both kind of classes directly because I'm going to give a bit kind of introduction with the effect that you will find there's a lot of things that we can do, okay, in terms of animation, in terms of moving the, the images directly and do some of the, most of the effects that you guys see from those. Uh, okay, that we actually been working on with Photoshop that that have uh, the kind of expression that I find there. Okay, maybe because I'm not actually exploring enough there. Okay, on the GIF kind of animations kind of timeline there. Okay, but my kind of Ideas to work with that uh, effects basically can be do a lot of things in After Effects. Right? But right now, what happens to my After Effects here? See that not enough the, the space. So that means I have to reduce a little bit and delete more and more of my uh, video working files that I okay, that as we have before. Let the system work for that first. All right, how are you guys today? Have you guys had lunch there? Right? What do you think about our first lesson? Okay, Dila, all right, good. On control to basic animation last week. Do you find quite difficult my method? Or do you find a little bit kind of complicated, right? Using GIF, or you have try first, right? A very simple kind of movement that I can recap later on. Oh, what is this? Sorry, something went wrong. Which part basically is Jessica? You find it quite hard. Because of, um, if you know the right, uh, to preparing the elements and to know which basically. Uh, Objects or layered or object or element that you want to move or you want to create the motions uh, is really important that before you go to animate messing up my layers there. Yeah. That if you cannot organize the layers, it will be quite hard. Uh, you have to understand the concept of using layers okay. That's why I really recommend you guys to use a few layers that is or you're going to uh, call that mm. and it, 
animate them. Okay, animate them. can do a very simple kind of stuff is that in animations uh, we have to do a very simple kind of motions like this right uh, working in how to move around the object. I wonder why I can do that effect. Okay I can open up my adult object effect but I'm not going to use them so it's I think I'm going to show you guys back in the in Photoshop directly because uh, Miss Anis have already explained to you our final project, right? It's a motion comic, so that in preparing what are the things that you want to draw first is really important. Okay? But, uh, when Miss Anis basically just now actually. Uh, Okay, let me try back again. Uh, explain okay about the the Simon said the project right the comic project right. I'm actually also rushing as you right here. Okay. At, at the back of the page, prepare the submissions there for for you guys to do. Okay, which means that hopefully that means I'm also there right. Okay, you yeah, can see that I have been preparing the work there right. <laughs> no la. So this is the thing that, that, that we're going to work here, right? This is something that I've done basically, uh, uh, not actually just now, right? Okay? Uh, I'm actually preparing a few elements on the right, okay? uh, new elements that does. Uh, if you watch the previous classes that I actually have, have been working on with the, okay? with uh, the first sessions, with the morning sessions, right? Okay? Uh, the images basically, I just prepare the images right here uh, for the last one or two semesters there. Two semesters right here. Uh, previously, okay, for my illustration subject. But this, is, this one basically is the core illustration subjects there, right here, from multimedia students, right? From other universities there, right? So they have basically two different kinds of subjects that that emphasize, that focus more on illustrations. Even though they have two subjects there, right? It's still going to be a very challenging for most of the students there. Uh, why? Because most of the students, like you guys, are not came from the same background there, right? Some of them can draw, some of them have a talent, some of them, some of them have been trained, uh, what we call that, uh, from, from their own kind of experience, okay, to develop the skills. Uh, but most of them basically is a very uh, raw, and also, you don't know where, doesn't, doesn't it even as you have the kind of ideas that uh, when you learn multimedia subjects, it's not an IT subject, it's not a technical wise only using the photography, digital photography, video editing directly. Uh, they actually require also, most of it is a drawing subjects as a part of the major kind of uh, subjects directly, right? core subjects directly right? in multimedia there because they have animations there, right? They have uh, 2D animations, they have 3D modeling at the same time, just like you guys, okay? But, but they don't have any other choice there because because uh, if you're taking multimedia, you have to learn drawing, you have to learn illustration. Okay? But I did also give them some fundamentals there, a lot of fundamental kind of exercise, but a lot of people thought to learn drawings or to be to be um, to be understand right okay, to what you learn in drawing illustration you just have to do all one week one exercise only that you can do both no it's not like that right they have to be a very consistent kind of exercise there to be developed from time to time in around week 13 right until, until 13 weeks or 14 weeks there right normally right okay. uh, from my kind of experience with the students Every each week until week 14, there is a, some few kind of exercise there. Uh, it's quite quite number number of time changes and some challenging last right. But I try to reduce a bit the right thing because of they're going to be affected also my my time to to what we call that to marking and also to evaluate the student works right thing. But my kind of what we call that uh, ideas at times. 
that I want to invest even more time on to practice off. But sometimes this kind of thing is not going to be work for people. Most of the new generation is like I think for me it's like that. Different kind of approach to this. Different kind of what you call that uh, level of understanding and thinking that I think because of now these people also have a lot of students also have a lot of uh, obstacles like they don't actually purely full time studying right they, they do some other things there to survive that so I it's kind of what we call that uh, felt that yes I have to reduce a little bit but not entirely because the drawing is still important still right so I still I have to commit make them to commit with the work because when it comes to design will later on like when they want to work they still need to face all these kind of challenges right? so now uh, what I've actually want to show you guys is okay, how actually I'm going to Compose. So this is something that I have been using. Uh, this is one of the assignments, second assignment that I did for my students there. Right? Okay. okay. My expectation is not that high, but I have to show one of the best results when when you want to learn illustration, because I believe that if you saw, if you watch, basically, not basically a very simple kind of what we call that quality of approach on the illustration you you if you can watch and also experience some of the the real thing that happens okay, around the world okay, outside there okay, most of the illustrators right they actually done all these kind of work there okay, and then before they're going to finalize or simplify the illustration become more stylized, more unique kind of way of approach, right? It's, you have to learn also about the fundamentals there, the core kind of understanding there, to draw people in the right way, to compose them. And this is one of the caricatures kind of exercise that not purely extreme, exaggerate caricatures, but we're using only a people face. Like, like this one is just a four-year-old boy kind of faces and put it into the, the Shazam kind of Head directly, uh, body directly, and then we compose them, we draw them back. Okay, this kind of methods maybe I'm going to go into deep maybe for the following week because I, I do believe that I need to give you guys also this kind of exposures right later on so you guys have the ideas what are the things that you can actually go because the method that I will show later on will be right for the following weeks. It's one of the methods that people who cannot draw also can actually apply, but there's a certain kind of regulation or methods that you have to follow, yeah, right? And the key is, is it's all about your hands, your way of drawing, the way you're handling the tools. If you use tablet, if you use pen, tablet, and using mouse, of course you cannot actually work on that. You have to trace that back, <coughs> right? Like a Harry Potter kind of drawing that you saw. Uh, previously, right, for some of your friends' work. Right. So, I'm not actually drawing entirely, okay, I'm just drawing this subject carefully here, right? And I'm going to reduce the layers there because one of the main obstacles that people always have is they have a lot of layers and you guys will get confused, right? Okay. The shadow basically is a simple kind of method there. Some people use filters there to work on that, uh, or using all right double clicks, they can uh, have a drop shadows like this one, for example, there, right? Right, to work a bit, but I didn't use that. Okay. I'm not actually using them directly. It's drop shadows here. Okay, this one there, right? See the drop shadows, right? Okay. Right, red size noise or whatever that you want to play right i'm not using that directly so i'm not using this one so i'm using a very traditional kind of way and just duplicate 
these images like this one, do some selections, add new layers. I add some colors there first, right? For example, here, right? I just some colors there, alternate backspace, for example, like this one there, right? Okay. Then what I do, I do a transform. I just skew there, right? Like that. And arrange. Okay. If you want to distort or create a new perspective, you can actually do it as well. There, right? For example, like this one, that one there. This is a new perspective directly. I, I never actually used them before. It's a bit kind of detailing, right? And stick to this uh, transform, right? And then I'm using Gaussian blur. And I reduce the opacity. Hopefully, you guys have been working with Photoshop. I already know how to work with it. Uh, the difference there. This is skew them right I just skew but this one basically I adjust a bit right a little bit more kind of <clears throat> realistic for us so these are the things that simple kind of methods that you can try them all right so don't forget to add your right to rename basically your layers there it's paper textures that I use all right remember this paper texture that I use there, right? It's one of the methods that I actually normally use. Okay, can you see the difference there? The text is there, right? The sound text is. So this is a bit kind of detailing there, okay? For some of the areas that you lazy enough to call, call that. Just to apply some of the detailing there, okay? So this kind of methods will actually help me a lot there, okay? to give more impact on my presentation, right? And if I'm happy with it, I just can push the layers there, right? So that is three layers there. Fork, basically, right, yeah, I can hide some of the things that I don't want to use to show some distance. I can even also duplicate and put it Maybe to another one on top of the paper layers there, right? And then I can actually write reduce a bit more. Okay. Uh, there's a difference there. Remember, right? Small changes make a lot of difference to your presentation. Same goes to this one, I can reduce a bit kind of practice. This one I can actually adjust. Right? So remember that, okay? What else there? Mm. Right, this building there, okay. This is the original pictures there, okay. The pictures came from, from here, right, taken from some of the internet, right? To show this kind of what we call it. This is more like an image manipulation kind of thing there, okay. I want to make right the whole environment look a bit more purplish there, okay. So give more contrast on the characters because a lot, and then to blend it up there, okay. The background, the foreground, the clouds, and the sky, and also the ground itself. Right? So the buildings itself, if I'm using gradient there, right? this kind of gradient there. I can even use this kind of what we call that silhouette if I want to, or if I want to get some details. And also I can actually write, it does go to maybe hue saturation. Okay. Click to colorize, and I can actually write, make it more, right? That's directly on the usual stuff here, okay? Give a different kind of presentation there, okay? The clouds there, okay? I'm using purple there, but I find out when I actually just, uh, what we call that, erase some of the Areas over here, not quite very soft there. So, what I can actually decide from here is that I can actually 
using uh, basically some erasers just to give a kind of soft kind of right sale on it so look at this one some of the areas that you find not quite right I think okay, this kind of what we call that method theoretically you can actually learn it and develop them from time to time better. If I use soft erases, for example like this, erases. I make it more softer there. The size and a more soft kind of touch there. Right? If I don't have to uh, use the uh, what you call that the motion or uh, motion blur effects there, right? Okay, and it can't have this kind of right. If I don't like it, for example, like this one. I can actually go back into Gaussian blur there, right? right? Just a bit more depth that I can on the presentation. Okay, so that's basically important there, there okay, for for your kind of work there because it will give you more distance, more feelings there, more kind of what you call that uh, kind of scenarios there, right? Okay, for your work here. And those are the things that are basically important for the comic kind of work there. Right? Okay, now. Around here, right? What other thing that I want to, right? For example, here I can spot it. Okay, the clouds, this is selection to this. Right, gradients, that, okay, okay. But this is the one that is from the frames, which is not basically really, really good okay, for our development directly for our things there. So what I can do, I will delete some of the things that you see here. Right? To affect basically our whole presentation there because I just cut them using the selection tool here. Right? So that's why there's a eyes that's up over there directly. Right? And if you become like a monkey kind of thing. Like us back again, and the layers and there, right? And I can actually write multiply, right? Or I can actually overlay them depending there okay, on how actually you're going to make the scenes a little bit more clean there, okay? They're going to be different there, right? The kind of approach there, right? This one, the buildings itself, I can actually write much the layers that this. And I can also still adjust the levels if I want to, right? Like that. But this uh, thunder, right? Okay, kind of effects that right? you can actually write separate them if you want to, or you can redraw them, or you can download the PNG kind of what you call it, uh, artworks that right? Okay, just to animate them later on. Okay. So the things here over here, the clouds, can merge the layers there. Right? Remain them. This is the city of buildings there. And this one basically the ground there, right? I have a how many layers there? This is going to be enlightening. One, two, three. 
you have to know exactly what are the things that you want to move for underneath there, right? So the thing is right now, I'm sure I'm not going to use this one there. So basically I just want to be playing with the different kind of color mode there, okay, at the time that they got. I'm sure I'm not going to use them. If I want to use them, like for example, like this one here. Some of the things that I've done before. I'm using this one here, right? First, for example, here. Sometimes when I play playing around with the multiply, right? I can give a bit kind of what we call it, see? A different kind of aura of these pages there, right? So what I can do from here. Right. You can see there, right? You have different kind of okay, this one basically to contrast, right? When I put the different layers there, okay. Using the same gradients, multiply them, you can see the the aura of these images a bit different. Right. What else that we can do from here? Right. right. You see, this is the, the lightning kind of line over here. Okay. I think I want to animate them, here, but I'm not going to use this one. I'll just create another one there. Right. So those are the things. Right. Explorations is really important there. That's why the, the tool that I actually introduced you guys is not a very complex kind of tool. But if I want to give a bit kind of light thing over here a bit, right? Because otherwise some of the details that we actually been draw directly will not be seen by the audience there. That's why sometimes we have to adjust a little bit. And using erases basically to Delete some of the things, some of the areas there, right? Okay. To give a bit kind of feeling on the impact on the visuals there, right? So those are things also can be, uh, you you can actually improve from time to time there, right? Okay, maybe these are glows over here, right? Also that we can plan. You do one step at a time there. Right? If you're happy with it, that eh? what you can do, uh -huh. right? Okay, this one, I think I will make them into one layer there, right? I find it quite very uh, have a very good kind of impact from there. Okay, now, <coughs> sorry. Planning directly the visuals that we want to use. If it's soft brushes that I use right now, like the glow kind of effect that I want to create over here, direct, right? Okay, great. If we plan basically, right, just like you imagine, right, you just play with opacity, you see the glowing there, right? See? Uh, simple kind of motions there. Think about the simple thing because why? When you use something effect, there's a lot of things we can do from there. That's what basically you want to animate that. If you find doesn't look fine, doesn't look right over here, you just right. 
suspect it is. I remember we have also one of the brushes that we call uh, wet sponge brush. That wet sponge brushes basically play with some of the what we call the glaze effects directly. Okay. Even though we with some of the reason if you have to animate a bit more details, the cape can be moved around, right? So this other things there. Just in motions, if you actually crazy about motions, you will see. You will find basically a lot of things that you actually have to draw can be moved if you want to. It's a matter of level of detail that you want to go from there. Right? So this is a glow. What are these? Okay, now. If you want to minimize, go ahead. For examples, okay, all right. is it okay? I'm using one, two, three, four, five, four, seven, eight, nine layers there. Right. Obviously, use five right here, but I don't know. I find there's a quite kind of interesting kind of layers there that can be used to animate directly. Uh, now, so what I can do in the background here, I try to get the same kind of gradient on here for this one. Maybe oops, transparent. There. Okay, right. But if I can actually write so this one, uh, I'm planning to come basically right there. Uh, so lighting right here, basically, you can use masking the right here to work there. But we work on that too. Where do we to get into this thing? Because because you want to be if you want to make your composition or your animation or your GIF animations or your presentation more kind of impressive, yes, of course. Layers requirements will be more layers that you use, for example, you will be affected a lot on your screen. I think I want to make another kind of uh, backlight effect to be here. When we actually close the mobile case, uh, uh, they have this kind of effect there. Sometimes I doing the glowing bit there. So we have to give a bit more kind of impact right here. Yeah, okay. All right. So this kind of imagination right here, it came from. The movies that you watch there, right? Yeah. Okay, now. What are the things that we can actually do? Maybe some lighting over here. Oh, right. And uh, there we can see more there, huh? Different kind of feels there. So, 
go to town line back again. Trade video town line back. Everything was there. I saw some of the versions. They don't give all, all this kind of what we call that uh, automatically kind of emotions there. Right? Uh, what we call that layers there. You have to bring all over there, right? But different kind of method, but still have the same kind of work. So what I can move, we can move them. First of all, try to move the below the track there, the track is there. So what I can do, change. Just go back to there. Can I copy this one? Copy. Save your files. This one we should be able to do zero. So I'm going to repeat that right. Okay. I'd love to see that we can copy the whole thing there. If you use the same kind of effect, all right? If you look around, see? Yeah. All right. And to make the speed a bit more shorter, right? It will be more faster, right? Like, at the blow. You can actually write move to the point over here, there, okay? The key frames there, right? A bit more closer. Right. Then you can play also with the speed, right? Okay? By reduce uh, by increase the the keyframes there. Right. The more nearer the right, okay, the more faster the right. So in terms of changing the speed. You guys can actually write do it right the manually like this. I do believe right in after the fact we can just copy right here the whole thing. So you play around there, right? So right there can you can have this kind of sound effect that we in mind. Imagination there. So I can see the motion. I can see the motion there. Okay. Yeah. You put more impact on that. Right. Other than that, what we can do? The shadows also we can actually play around. Right. I see the position of shadows there. Right. Can be moved around here, but. I have to use the panning there, right? Okay, to rotate or to stretch the shadows there and zoom there, right? Okay, to stretch the shadows there. 
Let me try that first. Where's the chat? So the internal is more bigger there, I think. I can do that. So what I can do, I can actually have to reposition that. So just now, basically, when I have to delete them, I can do the change. Start first. All right. Kill them back. Move around here. Kill them. I plan to rotate this cube them up. This one I can basically delete that one. Shadow basically, I want to skew a little bit there. Change okay, from here, I can change it to if I can squeeze more back to the right. Do the most interact the shadow that change. This is like the something actually happens in front of the terrain. Select them and move. Are the motions there? Okay, that I want to use something for the shadows there. If I like want to move the shadows around there, so what else that we can do? Okay, but how about the lightning there? Lightning over here. I can even basically preserve all the opacity there. You can change. For ten percent less, fast. You want to change a bit more faster, like this one there, right? If I just place some opacities there, right? From hundred percent to ten percent there, right? Thing goes there. Okay, I am not actually satisfied because I cannot copy the whole thing right because it's an opacity. Action demo, correct selections. You see, right. Should 
Here we have a Mustala where they do all the missing leaves, update all the text leaves. So what I can do right is here, right? The, the live thing is directly. Using the opacity, you can actually get a live effect directly. Even though the animation, we can actually create some masking on that in our effect. So let's pause. Okay. Let me copy. So what we can do. Okay. You copy the layers for what layer is here. Okay. It's kind of slowing the record. It is using the systematic here. You can see the motion for here, right? Right, those are the effects there, right? Those are kind of, kind of things that we can do from that. Right, what else there, right? We can do here. The positions of these clouds there, right? From this side, I can actually move these clouds to come move a little bit there. But it doesn't look fine. Let me try then, see? It doesn't look fine over there. I think I have to grow them directly instead of moving the cloud there. And of course, uh, when I look at this cloud directly, it's not enough kind of the blur effects there. So what I can do is the blur effects. Go to the ocean blur. Right. Make the clouds look more blurry there. Right. Soft kind of blurry there. If I'm going to move the cloud there. It's one of the things that we can do there, right? Okay, so the building itself, we can make the buildings be move closer there. So, if we in a pen, I think I can do it. No, in there. Hmm. I'm going to move more closely there, right? So what I can do. Right. Shift and scale them back to the right position. The, the sand should be be like that right doesn't look fine for me 
what I can do is go then back. This motion doesn't have to be worked too fast, and you can see the camera works good. But I think it's okay that as you make the buildings move directly, the background move directly. Whole motion smooth I can even actually move over to the characters if I want to directly. Entirely directly. If you see the whole presentations, over here also can be moved to right. So, we, so hopefully, okay, this kind of what we call that kind of ideas of presentations that on your visual will help her, okay, how to move around basically your, your kind of what we call that visuals there. Let's try to find different kind of, uh, let's just play with this kind of what we call that uh, layered kind of effect there, just to get a different kind of result there. Okay. The luminosities and normal, is it the same? It's not the same. If I use luminosities there, luminosity tracking, it will be a little bit different kind of feelings of those visual stuff. Save that first. The fox over here, I think I want to scale that. Around here, right click, and the file also will be a bit more bigger, I reckon. Even though the standard file that I use is not that big. Okay, the fox I can be moved around the right Yeah. So the fox is a bit more bigger here, so I can do and scale them back. You see the difference there. So a simple kind of motions, but if you don't actually write planning well, right, what are the things that you want to move to make it your cinematographic kind of moments from the visual that you use, right? You're not actually understand enough according to your visual at the same time, right? It will find it quite hard, right? For you guys to make the motion. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Can do from this glow effect over here, there, right? I can off basically the glow over there. This one. The more animation that you want to use, the more better there is. But depending on how actually you're going to improvise and you can work with the layers itself there. Everything, movements. According to our timeline, let's see what happens there. From here, right, I just put it to three seconds there, okay, because I cannot copy there, right? Okay. It makes a bit kind of weird kind of animations there if, uh, if I'm not actually right. 
cannot work with that. But okay, lastly, basically, before we're going to move on into RP effects, let's hopefully you can actually work on that. Um, I can export them first into save into legacy. The file will be kind of huge or big, right? So because of the layers there, right? But when I actually use these visuals, I don't see it's, it's more than 100 megabytes, right? It's around 5.66 or 10 or 20 kind of mag only there, right? All right, so far, any questions there? About the layering, about the simple kind of motions over here that, that I actually use. Okay, the colors that we use is 125 or 25, 6. Right, is a not this is for web colors there. Quality. If I change into nearest neighbors, let's see right here whether we can give a bit more kind of actual kind of qualities of colors that we want there. So there are you can test them. But this one is basically web colors that can be. By right now, this basically we can get a million kind of colors there for, for GIF animation. It doesn't have any kind of restrictions there. Okay, so let's see. That makes a lot of changes there. But I will animate the looping forever. Yeah, right? There is sound effects maybe later on, it's more better, but your kind of object objective, no sound effects here, right? So legacy, right? The one that you can actually change. If you write contact info, maybe from DC College, they may be there, right? All right, there. What if we change to 52 bits? Hello. Then they can change. Maybe they can only render them, right? So, colors. Just know this curve right here. It's going to be affected there, right? I don't know that. Hopefully, it's not selective. So, now what we can do here, I just go into this oh yeah, optimize there. Right? What happens there? I'm going to use all you know there first. See the difference there. This is what I'm looking for there. Right? I maintain basically the original kind of uh, quality there, okay? Not optimized the shape there, okay? But if you want to use them, it can be can be also a different kind of quality or style to approach your visuals there, okay? And then save the files there. It's okay. Safe. and hopefully they're going to render it right. <clears throat> right, any questions there, Ricky? Other than you, just cut it, Ricky. I keep messing up the layers there. Let me see there, Ricky, how actually we go from there. Why can I go back there?
Oh, today there is no one actually in the class. Ah. All right, all right, all right. Oh, yes, okay. Uh, I have to basically inform you guys what me and Miss Tanis have actually have checked your work previously there, okay? Because what I've been, what are we actually have been discussed before this is all about this one, okay? Plagiarism there, okay? Plagiarize some of the work there, all right? So this is something that we wanted to avoid, guys. We wanted to avoid that. Right, even though we work in digital there, okay? It doesn't mean that you will escape from, keep us from the work there, okay? You guys know who you are there. So we don't have to be mentioned there. So please avoid using other people's works entirely without using any kind of adjustment, modifications, okay? Before you're going to submit your work there. Because by hook or by crook, we will find out, right? Eh? So don't be too slick or smart, right? Eh? To keep on the presentations of your project work. Because why? Because we, you will get caught, right? Eh? When you get caught, unfortunately, the right okay, you're not going to get any marks from that. Right? Or normally, we will actually inform you back. Okay? But entirely, if we find out that you don't change, you won't be able to get marks. And the worst part, basically, you fail the right thing. So don't do that such of stupid things directly in order to submit words. Be truthful to yourself. I always be truthful to you guys also in order to communicate to develop the works itself there, right? The process of developing demonstrations directly because I find directly if if I can actually be more generous, be more truthful, be more genuine to you guys. And hopefully, our connection between learning experience will be more effective, directly, more better directly. Because you can ask me almost anything about your work directly. And I give you my kind of generous and also truthful kind of comment. Okay? Normally, directly. Most of the, some of the students that actually have, have actually, uh, Consult with me. Thank you very much, there, right? Eh? Because hopefully, uh, I have gave you guys some of the my kind of opinion or suggestions there to improve more on your work. But of course, if you have a weakness, for example, if you're really really interested to develop your skills, there, right, eh? what? Because the thing that I've shown basically right now is a very common kind of tools that most people can use. Either you actually using any kind of versions of Adobe Photoshop or AI direct. You don't we don't use any fancy kind of tools there. Right to develop them. But the size basically for this one, this is what? This is G file direct. It's around 51. This is the one that I did before, around 100. I don't know how why it be quite big, but this is the samples that I did there, okay? You can see the videos there, right? The visuals there, okay? but we can do more a lot more basically using another application. Okay, yeah. okay. The thing that we required for you guys to work is not that hard directly, but the, the challenges that you have to provide were basically. Is the visual first, right? Is the visual first. Right? The visual has to be comfort first. Then we talk about the animation first. If you don't prepare the visuals, then it will be hard for you guys to animate them. 
All right, let me check the right thing. Back again, your visual solution. Like, okay, Kai Jun, yeah, right thing, have done a very good kind of examples there. If I want to animate this one, the Kai Jun, I can move around this rocks from this point into this point that animate them or I can make it floating there, okay? point A from point B to point B and and go back into point A or bottom back again okay? looping the up this one also can be looped there right scale them this guy also can be moved around a bit there okay just exaggerate them or maybe Move a little bit, right? Like skew or stretch a little bit of this guy there right? using the zoom tool or transform tool. So the the entire kind of detailing on this uh, what is what is this? Earth. For me, if I want to add some details, I'm going to draw exactly the shape of the earth or the moon, right? Or the moon there. Okay. Otherwise, this one looks a little bit more like I don't know, is a dragon ball or power ball. I don't know the right thing. It's not that quite clear, there, but we can actually write separate them, put some glows, and move around there. <coughs> simple kind of simple of motion there, right? That we can actually add the visual. What else? All right. This one from Chengju, right? Chengju, right? That's why she's not actually right. Uh, recall my answers for this now. My, my kind of work. Okay, this one is the same, right? You can roll in the boat, right? Simple there. From point this point to this point there, right? The sun can be moved to this point there. Clouds also can be moved slowly, right? This this is what we call that the reflections of the waters there, right? Here. Also can be moving around there, right? Looping there, right? Basically, you guys can actually have done a very good work there and draw on that. Right, this one basically, okay, if there is no object or any kind of elements of living things there, the whole composition becomes dead. Okay, this is what I thought already okay? because there is nothing can be moved around except me. This is the sun maybe the right thing. Uh, just imagine if the sun basically is this white and this kind of solid kind of color is there, the whole area is a little bit more hot there, right? Okay. So remember that right? so the logic also can be applied with the fantasy kind of illustrations there. Because people want to relate it also the the fictional kind of element with the real life there, right? it will be more closer to be there. So remember that, right? And can have a bit kind of details from here, right? Based on the visual or reference that you have. Like like Ganshito, right? Like a magic kind of what we call the forest. Right? What are things that you want to move? Maybe the sparkling kind of glows of things, kind of snow, I don't know, the right? You need a beer there, okay? You can move around. A very simple kind of motion set. I saw some of the 12 years old kind of animations this morning from my friend, Mr. Okay? Uh, her daughter actually treat them like this video too. You guys can see that right? how 12 year old also can do some simple animation nowadays using cat 
12 year old though it's not actually right this 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 lady is not a devil kind of daughter directly she's a human being but it's like for 12 year old kids directly maybe because of the way that the parents you teach or expose her with the new materials and then uh, this lady the young lady basically wants to explore a bit more okay and they are And hopefully his parents, her parents not actually right, exist her now, right? I don't know. Right? Simple kind of monsters there. For travel or kids. So imagine right, the twelve year olds. And maybe because of this MTO, right? Her parents doesn't allow her to to be in the schools there right so that means she has more time to explore right there's more time to explore i just share the link to you guys you guys can check it out all right check them out there right okay the links over there but the, the animated kind of what we call that storybooks there people got animated but with a very good kind of design kind of uh, kind of uh, what we call the understanding there, and I know it okay because her uh, uh, dad basically is one of my one of my genius there, and also a very comic enthusiast and also a very uh, professional comic artist, right? So actually, in my with the same areas of it, right? So but I believe that because she actually is only only child in the in the in the in his family in her family, so that means her father, her daddy can actually write focus more on her progress. Okay, those are the good things there. But like me, basically, I didn't actually write uh, focus a lot directly. I teach a few things, but I didn't force my kids to draw something like this or that directly. I let them also to explore. Uh, I. 17 year old kind of daughter before this basically in, I think around six years ago uh, one of my friends asked me right, to teach her daughter directly the funny the right way to draw the right so I made a very formal process every week for these two, two girls directly to, to, to catch it up the right but, but I didn't actually uh, at the times, yes, we have a certain kind of structured kind of drawing system that I actually use for university to apply for them directly, but not that quite. They have to commit also to do their works, to complete the works for the entire week directly. So that's other things then. I can say that a lot of changes and improvement on this kind of age of the students that they are of of young people that it can be changed there. If you really put your heart into it there. The same goes to you guys, okay? The things that we learn can be developed, but you have to be more into it there, okay? It's just like you eat something that you love, or maybe you don't have you haven't tasted yet, but you're really keen to learn to, to have to have the taste there, okay? you try them food right as the best that you can but plan it your visual at the same time right? so remember rightly don't use other people's works just to submit into your project because we might maybe find out we will find out that right because if not please also have this kind of entire time to to do some research Kind of work there, okay? and I find out from your friends, from other groups, kind of Instagram account has a very good, tremendous, good kind of what we call that activities that she has done there, right? Okay? So she has done a lot of visual development based on her interest. She even have a web casting kind of what we call that page there, right? This is one of your friends from other groups. The morning groups 
Right, she actually has been contact me for last two weeks or last week there, right? So I've seen I've been browsing her work there, right? Okay. And I found out a good things that actually been done by the student need to be shared there, right? That's why I see, I think I have to share also for you with you guys right? okay? to give a bit more kind of inspirations among yourself that some of your friends also have a very good kind of talent and commitment there, okay? Interest on, on her things that she wants she wants to do, right? When I was like the age of you guys, I don't have this kind of privilege there. They have my own blog, my own web stream kind of website there, no Instagram, like okay? we don't cannot share that like okay? the only thing that we can share is by print our works and put it into those folders. And when people want to see our works, we share that, I think. Have a look from there. But now, guys, all the things that you want to know about other people there, the activity, is from the single click of your fingers of your hands. So I think I have, I thought, right, positively, I have to share this one, right? She's quite nervous at that, uh, at the first time just now. But when I actually told her that okay, this is the good things that I have to share that okay. I always share some of the work that I've done, but I don't want to become a little bit kind of what we call that lonely that okay, on the on the on the on the on the gives some sort of like like some exposures to the students. Okay. So I think this is good. this is very quite good kind of uh, progress of one of the students that I saw that I believe that some of you guys also have that right? like when you directly also have one of the even though uh, he's not not actually having uh, enough kind of work so maybe maybe he, he just actually uh, starting to post some of the works right but it's quite good there again. Uh, where is it again? I can't remember the name there. Because one of my accidents have give me this kind of information yesterday. All right. All right, I chat with her directly because of the because she actually right uh, this one right she need to have key there. one of your friends works there right? I don't know whether you guys actually right have been following him or not I think he draw a lot of about dogs there I think it's quite good right it's quite impressive there, right? for your kind of age to be exposed to be active in social media by promoting more on your works it's quite good this is some of the examples of reference that I saw that I kept basically before I actually demonstrate to you guys just now. Okay guys, so those are the good things there that I, that I find from the Instagram there nowadays. I would, that I would love to see more from the students' work there, okay? other than we just post only something from, right, for, for mine kind of Instagram basically, right, um, I only have two there, okay? Uh, the other one at least, uh, is to know if I'm mistaken, right? But this one is not quite accurate actually, because I actually have been copyright these images there first. Because um, what I actually right have done before this right, okay? um, I have one of the clicks, one of my friend actually who actually draw a lot of tapi characters right, okay? but uh, I find out that okay, why don't actually we tried to make a brand for these characters there, but I didn't actually have time. So what I can do first, because I find it's quite good at potentials there, right? Okay? Because I've seen some people actually have done also the same thing, but different kind of way, this. branding the topic. Right? Yes. Oh, oh yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, what is it there, right? 
我我知道跟你讲，我后来在后网。哦、oh, ，Yeah， Yeah， 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 No， Yeah， Yeah， You see that right？ 我不好意思，我就。OK， 我然后特别想要这品牌啦，照片那个。Alright，OK，Yeah，OK，Right。照片的片子。Yes，Yes，Yes。他拍这个旅游不假，全是骗人的，讲么？哎，你那个谁的那个朋友啊 ？Yes，Yes，OK，Right，Right，OK。啊，我骗人的，骗人的。OK， 我讲我不追路哦。Yeah，Yeah，OK，OK，Right，OK，Lucy，Lucy，You the right thing？Do you see the right thing？Yes，Yes，Do you see the right？ 好了。Okay, okay, 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 okay. Yes， 好了。啊 ，Yes，Yes，Hello the right。啊、uh, ，You open up your mic there, right? Okay, good, good there, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's right. 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 Yeah, yeah
okay I select them and I use normal and adjust the colors to draw the mountains there the cloud is the same thing right but all the visuals basically is from one of your friends actually because uh, when she draw basically the visuals similar like this but the perspective is not right so I will draw back again I show her basically how to add a bit kind of details and add a bit kind of living kind of objects and draw and multiply them back and show some depth of field in the whole presentation okay so you can actually check the videos there right if you can browse them you can browse them right so you can actually work on that see the like how it looks there very simple kind of method there okay but the thing is right now you have to know what are the tools that you want to use that's all there right it's only the tools there and what kind of visual that you want to draw at the same time there. i would i will give you guys some different kind of suggestions later on okay when you want to draw this kind of images there right okay, for the previous kind of weeks there. maybe i mean uh, for the following weeks there okay so right now i just want to cut short right okay? No question, right? Oh no, accidentally I pressed it just no, okay, it's, it's okay, it's okay that I can cause my memory to No you know it's okay. I just keep you there, right? Okay. So you yeah. alright now. No question guys, are you sure? Come on there, right? Right, about the plagiarism there, okay, please so guys be alert on that. Don't jeopardize your work from there. All right, when you open up a dark artifact there, previously I'm using old version, I'm using now 2017 CC kind of version there. And when I actually edit some of the videos from here, okay, there is this is basically the interface of the AI. Basically, the new versions is a bit more like, right, like, like more like very, very kind of. Cool kind of looks that okay. in the previous versions basically that I used is white in colors there, a bit kind of dinosaur or kind of but the purpose is the same there, right? It's same like nothing with the flash that I used before. But now, if you take a look at there, okay, the whole kind of menus that we have is almost almost the same like Photoshop. But the thing is, we have basically the what we call that the timeline over here. This is basically your timeline there, right? It won't actually appear to anything over here because you don't have any kind of visuals there, right? So, uh, what you can do from here, okay, if you open up your After Effects, if you have one, right, you can see this kind of interface over here. First of all, go to the new compositions, not new files, but new compositions there. Set your compositions here. First of all, um, click seven, put the name right, demo of AF of effects, not animation timeline to effect. Right? Here you don't get confused. Huh? Are you still here? I can hear I can hear you close to me. Right. Where's your silence there? Here you go. Right? So, so right now. Right in uh, what we call the after effects there, right? Basically, is for after editing or before editing, final editing kind of process. So that means whatever that things that you want to adjust, improve, enlightenment, uh, you want to make some sort of effects there, right? Okay? All those kind of visual effects, basically, you can apply using Adobe After Effects. That's why you use Adobe After Effects, right? right okay? It's similar basically with adult animate a bit there, okay? But they basically use it to editing, directly right? Editing with that. Not to make uh, most of the motion graphic also can be used in a feedback, there, right? So uh, the custom kind of what we call that size, uh, I believe that we used before is the uh, A4 size. I'm using A4 size just now, but we're using 1080, right? 
In 3480, is it? The size, let me check. For 768, that is. If I use 768, size, this one going to be, is it automatic a ratio? Can I use around 1 or 2 force? For example, say. But normally in After Effects, we're not using this kind of format, right? The format that we use basically is either 1080. Times seven twenty, right? Or one nine two zero times one nine two zero, like the half HD kind of format, right? Okay. Those are the format that I always use, right? normally for my kind of work. There. So, but this one, are we going to use basically the the size that I use basically for my photo shop, right? I think this is around. Back again, nice. Okay, by 11 inch. If I'm using pixels, oh, this is the pixel set. Okay, one two hundred. Okay, copy this one. I'm going to change that. I change that first. Don't get confused there, right? I just need to change according to the size that I use. One, I'm going to copy this one and put it right here. Five frames a second, normally, right? Click OK. Oh, sorry, there are okay, durations. Not more than one minute, here, guys. Okay. I don't know about your presentation. There may be around only two minutes there. Yeah? The com motion comics, or one minute there may be, depending on the visuals there, right? But I'm will change first into. This is not one minute, one hour there. Yeah? Right. I'm going to change to okay, K for maybe one second there. Okay. One minute there, please. Oh, this is one second it's kind of animation there. One second there. What I can do from here, like if I actually have opened up right okay, this is the green line okay for our works. So what we can do from here, this is the name of your file, this is the timeline, this is the project folders there, double click that first. Last time when I actually used Photoshop, let's start from the file, okay. where is my file there, this is the one there, right? Can I actually copy the whole thing, import the whole thing there, merge the layers there, right? Or you can choose the layers. There. If I merge the layers like this one, the whole thing's over here. Okay. So the whole thing's over here, there. So you can zoom out. The very so the layers doesn't appear there, right? But from this one, okay, I just want to show you guys if I'm using flatten layers there, right? So what we can do, position, scale, we can change from this side to this side there, right? Huh? Or the visual actually have been appear there, right? Good. So what I can do here there, right? I want to scale the size. Is that I can use the normal kind of scaling like this. Right. The skill too. All right, brushes, tool, control key. Oh uh, yeah, this one there. TV effects. But the scaling here. Let's change there. This is control key for. Okay, one there, sorry. Okay, one there. Control the two there. Normally, if I want to scale them, or they have to take, why all the deep animators over here? Right, see? 
So what I can do from here, I can increase the kind of animations like this, like for example. Okay, I click to scale and also positions. I change uh, now automatically the right scale. What happens here? Then I can actually right scale them back. Okay. There. See the motions there? Simple there, right? First of all, okay, scale and positions I change. If I want to change the position, for example, from here, right? Here. Yeah. Yeah. And change in this direction. In one second. Everything happens there. So again, maybe a bit put a bit here. Right click seven, right here, update model, right here. Okay. So it's a simple kind of thing, right? Maybe before we do more complex models, right? So I combine all the images that I actually create in Photoshop, they have made the all on the automatically kind of what we call the images. Right? This is a new thing for me also, right? Normally I'm using my motion graphics using this kind of method that I do bring everything in this after effect, right? But now by using Photoshop GIF, I can actually write using the whole composition, I just zoom in directly to make more better that right? If I want to extend the frames, simple. Go to composition, don't make new composition, composition setting, change from two, one second to how many seconds is now? Five. All right. They can extend. This one, right? Same goes there. If I want to zoom in, zoom out there, right? Bring five, five, ten. Right, same goes there. In Photoshop just now, it's rarely, it's hard basically for us to work there, right? I can extend a bit more than five frames, two seconds, or three, two point five, and this one put it over there back again. So zoom in, zoom out there, right? Zoom in, zoom out there, right? So zoom out and zoom in, right? Zoom out and zoom in back again, right? Same in there. This is the timeline I take for the visual there, right? What happens is maybe the visual is more than not, it's only five seconds, but I actually have composed another five frames there. So that means this one, or if I close that up first, put it over here. All right, remember that the key point, I get key frames there, and then check back again. It's just the five frames there, two zero frames there, five seconds always there, right? Uh, this is what happens every change. You see the use there? That basically for some of the effects. I can do this one first. Right here. And there. You can actually play there, right? So the visual becomes a bit more. Distance there, right? But five seconds basically just now, I actually animate only a few seconds there. I think not more than around three seconds there, right? So, what I can do from here, and just move back again to this stage, right? And just animate around three seconds only there, right? See the difference from there. So go back into this stage, right? Composition setting, change it to three frame, three seconds per frame. So you can see the movement there. You can extend the frames to see some of the detail in there, right? Some of these, or you want to select some of the areas if you want to there. Right? So extend basically the frame to see some of the detailing kind of key frame that you want to use. Save the file first. 
basically all the motion layers we can actually use of the effect at the same time but now we're combining them right okay so just now i hardly to zoom the whole thing there right of the e-framing kind of thing in up effect you can do the whole thing more easy right more easy for these guys to work so is that the first the second thing is right, if i want to make a transition for example a very simple kind of uh, opening kind of uh what you call that visuals there okay or like i say i want to make from fade in to fade out black right okay, fade out to fade in black right for example here they're right i can actually right put into opacity on the three frames the first frame i can put to zero then you can see the visuals that came in from here okay and from here i can actually write copy and paste maintain basically the opacity and the last three frames i can actually repeat them this is a simple kind of method there. Right? When I learn LP effect, I learn not quite hard way, but my kind of bosses at the time they teach me a lot of tools there, so I get a bit kind of confused there. But if you have the the works with you, what are the things that you want to animate? It's more easy for you to learn. Okay, there, right. Visuals there, bit more enhancing. Right? I never thought I want to animate these visuals there right? until basically we have the classes right here. Because I thought that I, I don't do anything from there. So what else we can do from here? Oh, a lot there right here. Let's just say I'm going to do right. Well, if you right click over here, right, you can actually create. A new adjustment layers there. That means you can do some adjustment layers on this kind of layers. You can create some effects, right? Here. That will say right click, okay, effect. What kind of effects that we can apply? <clears throat> the whole layers, right? Here. You can also use individual layers. I see, right? Here, all these visuals, all these kind of blur effect, for example. There. You can animate the whole thing by click to the button set. Okay? To activate the button set. Okay? And of course, right, they will require a little bit kind of space and processes there okay? to play with this kind of visual, with this kind of effect. Right? Okay? You can animate the whole thing there if you want to. Right? Example here again. Okay? If I want to make the blur effect, we can use the blur effects. For example, like let this. Let me try this again. Delete also the layers there. Simple as that. Okay. Go back into the projects for this. Right. Double click. Go back again. Let me see. I'm going to create. Uh, choose the layers there. Okay. From what? Low effect, shadow, fork. Mm. Okay, let's just say characters there, right? The thing that I can't do, but no, the layers there. No, layers shape, style. Merge layers, style, interface, and the size there. Buckets, button and size. So, layer size there, right? This is the uh, basically single file there. Like this guy there, right? You see, this, this guy there, right? So I can actually right, separate them. I can scale them also, this guy there, right? See, the shape to scale. Right, from here, I can use this guy. That's right, the effects. If I want to the radial blue, see the radial blue, the whole things have been radial direct. If I want to make a single layer, basically, I have to render this guy there first. Okay. 
what I can do, and delete this one that is. But I'm going to click this guy, right click, effects, gloves, radio gloves, see? But radio gloves can be we can change into in or zoom. Alright, zoom in there. Right, see? Visual effects there, see? The sound effects there. So, you can play around with it there if you want to. But I'm not going to use radio blue, sorry, then. It's a more like a motion or direct blur direction effect. When I actually the um, direct blur effect direction is like Directional is a little bit more the one that I want there. Blur length. Alright, so you can actually play with the. You saw some of the movies that have this kind of what you call that. Directly like a butterfly effect directly. Those are the things that you can actually play around with the visuals there. This kind of effect there. Right. Right, the size has changed there because basically what we were going to do, uh, we need to play with also with the visual size there. Right? We separate the layers there, but I didn't separate them. A bit different kind of things that happen from here. But this blur effect doesn't get the one that I want directly. Let me try them back. So there's a lot of things that we can do. When I actually find out all, all this kind of blur kind of effects, motion blur. Direct color. Fast blur effect. Right. The one motion blur effect that I use. I don't know whether we have here or not. Right. Camera shapes, you blur, what they can do. Right. All these kind of experiments, I love to, to play there. Maybe it cannot actually work right here because see the difference. I'm not using adjusting layers there. Why don't actually write as this delete this guy there first? Right? So what I can do. I can right click to this side, create a new adjustment layer there. Then I play with effects, I'm going to experiment with the blur there, right? Lens blur, shape blur the blue. I think what you can do from here. Five frames, seven frames, right? And strength, let me change the strength. I kind of, this is a the new thing for me directly. In order to develop basically this kind of, I love to experiment there. See the blue effect there. To the changes over here. Effects, click to the effects. You can see the keyframes that have been made there. Let me check that whether it's going to be right or not. But it takes some time that to render that. So those are the things about artifacts, yeah. Okay. Yeah, any changes over here? Nothing changed there. Right? Maybe there's a few things that I didn't actually explore from here directly, right? but no matter there. Right? You can go back to the effects. This is what I think that we can do. Camera lens blur effect. Shaking blur maybe, right? Either I don't have enough space there to explore. 
of the effects. Test the effects what we can do from here. The radius change. Oh, so this is the past the effect there. So experiment there, guys. Okay, first, okay, it takes time to experiment them, right? This FT effect kind of thing there. So just like you using a glasses there, okay, to, 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 to change the visions of the person who actually doesn't wear glasses and this is point of view of people there, okay, but have this kind of versions there, okay. You can animate the whole thing here, very easy there, okay, animate them. Those are the things that we can do, right? So the keyframes basically I already introduced you guys there how it works. Even though I'm not actually showing the whole thing there, okay, but this is the timeline. The keyframe basically is very simple keyframes. Right? What basically you want to adjust, active the layer surface, and then opacity, same things, but the good thing is you can actually copy the keyframes there easily there, okay? You repeat the motion. Alright. So the next thing is maybe we can actually a bit explore that from there, okay? We have we still have time, okay, for the future kind of classes to explore a bit more from here, right? What I can do because I don't want to mix them up, right? Okay, because I know some of you guys actually have also, right, some of the challenges to animate in Adobe, Adobe Photoshop, right? The GIF there, okay. But preparing the layers there first, preparing your artwork first before you want to animate them, right? Before you're going to move around those characters there. So those are the things that you have to do first. I learn new things today, which is all the all the preparation that I did for the GIF animated can be applied from there. Right? Those are the things that I find from the new things happen from the tools that I see. So I didn't have to animate. I thought I have to animate the whole thing there, right? Okay? But the not the best thing, basically, right? Okay? The things that I can actually break down, basically, the layers over here because I merge the layers there. So they bring all the GIF, GIF animated files over there, there right? Okay? I mean, cannot actually adding some layers there. Right? But the visual basically has to be impressive that way. Before we are going to work with the emotions there. Okay. I think for some of you guys who actually want to use of the effect combined with Animated chief, you can do it as well that way, right? So what we can do to render them up? Add to render key. Okay, set basically your settings up. Normally best setting. I didn't change much over here. Alright. Right here also directly. Okay, your format directly. AVI. We save into GIF. GIF file. No. We have quick time. We normally we use not the only sequence only for editing, final editing normally directly. So we have a VI only directly. I don't know whether there's the there's some sort of plugin to move this animated GIF there. I don't think so from here. Right? So what are the things that we can do I think? Oh in up effects. It's not going to be complete if you don't actually add some of the sound effects. Let me check whether I have the sound effects or not. Okay, where is it? Where are those sound effects there? In here directly, I'm hiding all the work, all the files over here. So, where's my sonic set up? So right here. Alright, uh yeah, Sonic Foundry there. Sound effect. And to say okay, let me check there, okay, the voice sound effect here. Mm -hmm. On that right. It's something 
more like a game directly. How about no space for all on this side? Where's a hundred claps? Hopefully not the same sound that I use. Mm, this is quite good. Import the file assets. And then what I can do before I'm going to render them back. We go to my timeline, put it over here. Just drop over here. Right? And check that. Cool. Quite good there, right? You guys gonna hear this on the right? If I can find some of the Shazam kind of sound effects, a bit more bad to there, right? I think. Or superhero kind of effects, sound effects, right? I think. Maybe that's good, right? Favorite kind of music, maybe there, right? Mm. I have a few sampling there, okay, but I don't know where it works on that. Go to sound, yes, except line, star sequence. I don't know what is this directly. Jack Pack, Cadillac, Super, oh, Super Saiyan direct. Okay, just playing around like this. But unfortunately, this is not what is called to me. This is a media player file. It's not the right file for it. For music basically is a percussion device. Pop rock music. I don't know whether it's good or not. Quite funny song there. So I'm gonna let you know. Sounds look like Indian. So track list, Hawaiian, Hawaiian, what kind of rock music is this? Ram, right? Wave there. So finding the right kind of sound is also quite. Importance here. <clears throat> All right, this one is quite okay. So maybe I can use them also at the same time. But the face of this boy doesn't look quite fearless there, right? It looks, looks like he wants to try that, right? It's okay. But there's a few kind of effects also we can actually use in other effects actually. And I'll take the faces if you want to there, actually make a So What I can do, right? There's a sound effect that I actually put over here. That I can actually reduce a little bit kind of those will be the, the wave land there, right? Audio levels can change. Yeah, this one there, right? Change there, right? Take the time out. Load there, right? Okay, just click 
and move to this slider here. Of that first, then I go to very big one, right? My files to positions add to render queue, right? I'm using AVI, I can resize if I want to. We have to make a custom there, right? If you want to use less from this size, because it's quite big, right? Can you actually use around what? Maybe 800 there. Right? Time to 1100 just to demonstrate the visuals there. I don't change basically the, the audio kind of what you call it, output over here. Just rename them. Format are going to be video format. Using AVI, click OK. Okay, now the output where is it going to be? So desktop, to save into our folders here. Save there, and then. Render there. One second or three seconds is not that long, there actually. So it doesn't take too long. There. Later on, we can learn to compose directly each scene directly to work like that. But the best thing is create one scene at a time there first before we go into compose them back. You guys can hear my so the sound effects from my videos there. You cannot, right? Yes. That the sound that we actually have been ready there. So what we can do here. Right, just the whole thing. Right, this is basically the video here, right? How big is it? Hundred and eighty nine megabytes. Right? It's quite big because of the size. So what I can do from here, normally I use this video converter for, right? But size is a bit more smaller there, right? So just drag it away here, check the size, small size, which we can actually write this to work from video. This one going to be distorted a little bit, there, I think. I'm using original, it's quite big there, right? but I tried the first convert, but it's big enough. This one, it doesn't appear there, right? That's all. And pack there, right? Let's give it a push. So normally I'm going to use the conversions over here, like to work on that. I use 48 and good now. Let's check that again. They're going to be this top now, right? Normally, it's going to be this top there. Okay, this is 48 there, right? Here. They cut the visuals there. But the size are going to be a bit more smaller, there, around 48. Okay, there. Right. So you can try the video converters there. Right here to work on that. But if I try to use other than converters there, hmm. customize MP4. Let me check. 
second window around 500 to 600 direct Around how big is it? One nine four kilobyte error. Yes, so all right. So this one, put it over there. Maybe I can actually show you guys how it works and share them right to be this thing. This is the one that right from ninety four meg that right. Can I actually write copy and paste over here? Drop the files over here. Upload here. Upload files. So you guys can check the record because my network, oh no, this is the low user okay? thing. Guys, how is it there, guys? After effects? I just give some simple introductions just this. Okay. Rig seven, get more there. Okay. Yeah. It's going to be happen here. No visual there. Right. It's okay. So that name. I cannot use just one direct to share. But can I share in your in this one? I cannot write. If I download the files, can you get it? Oh, that's the one that right. So you can download that right. You see the result there. And also the final effect is up there. Alright. Yeah, you can download that right. They're all right. That's it. Good. So that's it, guys. Right? Those are the things that I think a very simple introduction on the RP effect like this. Yeah, download it, take it, this track. So basically, those are the things I'll be using sound effects a bit, some of the visuals there, the animated kind of movements there, okay? but you can do more a lot from there in the future. Right. So I will prepare a bit more on the element itself directly okay, for you guys to see how the motion itself that can work. Okay. And at the time there okay, if you want to get to look like right, some of the motion kind of comics the emotion comics there right there's a lot of number kind of motion comics here. Right the one that I actually look I find quite interesting is from the introductions of the what are the zombie kind of of series there right? one of the zombie series there right? so, uh, there's a lot of motion comics there right? that you guys can actually check it out there right? uh, one of the motion comics intro there right? that I find quite interesting but I haven't seen that man before a very simple kind of motion comic there. Hmm. Hmm. 
but not much of motion. So it's a key motion for me. This is kind of direction set. Drawing is good, but it's not direction set. Let's see the Indonesian center. Okay. People actually have done already. This is a good example there. It's a simple kind of visual set. But they playing it really well there already. I think what Miss Anis actually has been what we call that plan is something more like this. Black and white, okay. Some people actually ask us, right? Okay, black and white, okay. And can we add or not? Yes, of course, you can. So you actually have uh, a big kind of advanced kind of motion from here. But everything has to be planned now, right? Has to be planned. That's it. And of course, if you want to create the motion comics, you have to plan first, cash first your ideas. Right, and also a storyboard also have been needed right, okay, to develop uh, a certain kind of planning there, okay? Before we're going to work on the visuals there. This is quite a detailed comic in comics there. Gato Kacha, the right thing. But normally in this motion comics, they don't actually work with the panels there. So they work with, with like a very, like an animation kind of scene there. Okay? Not quite a comic panel there. Motion comics, normally we can see that okay, there's a lot of very like minimal kind of motions there, like a limited kind of animations that have also right the strong visuals there and that that were basically a really important here to one of the amount of to the animations and this is a bit kind of like a motion comics maybe i think They, they require the camera panning, right? Okay, but the visual is stunning there, right? That's why we we find it quite interesting though. But there's not much animations, I believe. Okay. This is purely from the comics, they actually just panning the background there, okay? Uh, this one also quite nice, right? Okay? Well, not this one, this one also quite nice, there, right? but it's not the one everyone to see, right? I think this one is from James, so what do you think? Naughty Dog, sir. I'll just share basically the link. Now this is a little bit more like a more proper kind of comics that are these kind of panels that you have. Okay. okay. 
And one of the anime, the very adult animation that I love to watch directly is a author animation directly. Another adult animation that I, that I have been watched before. Extreme animations. We have a very some of styles of animation that we actually can use as part of the reference. There's a number of kind of different kind of styles of animation is there. It's kind of bizarre sometimes. It also can be used as in the styles and scope direct. So a part of this uh, watching all these common kind of anime manga sometimes directly, I always always love to watch all these kind of Different kind of animation. I just want to summarize that. That's my favorite. And of course, one of the animations like um, the lifetime of two. Very simple kind of drawings there. But I love the drama there, right? The drama, the, the script, the dialogues. Right? But the dialogue, basically, the script's quite strong there, right? It's just like I'm watching a sitcom there, right? So this is one of, for me, this is one of my favorites there, right? So they, they have a lot of swear kind of words there, right? But, uh, but, but the, the storyline for me is quite fascinating there, right? That's why I click with the stories there, right? But the animations is very simple there, right? See? This is from HBO. They actually add in a HBO at one time. There, I think HBO actually buy this program there. Uh, one of the re reason the the producers as anime they also create the stories, create this kind of style of animation because they actually cannot draw well, but they want to create some animated kind of stories there. So they use this kind of styles, then become also a part of the air times. Okay. From the family hours like at that one of the time director, I think around four, five, five years ago, I think five, six, seven years ago. Right? I don't know whether they still add this kind of uh, kind of series there, right? But yeah, I'm enjoying this kind of animation as well, right? Because for me, I already opened up in any various type of stuff. I didn't actually like fix it to one particular kind of genre only, right? because I. My main thing is the thing that can make money, that things that also have a unique way to approach, I will into it directly. Because sometimes, like, we also fascinated with the Pixar animation, but this are just kind of animation. Quite rare, we can we actually use this kind of animations there without having enough kind of big pocket on our production cost there, right? But maybe in the future, right? Because now this is a lot of free kind of software that we can use. But of course, anything can be goes right? Depending on the how actually we plan to work on that and sacrifice the time there. See, uh, now basically before we can to animate anything, maybe. Make sure you provide also a storyboard there, right? See, on your animations or planning for your motion kind of comic kind of. So storyboard or or motion comics, there, right? Yeah. Right. So you can actually check. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
for report right before they clean the whole thing. You guys first the link to check it out there, right? Right, how to create stuff. It's a very simple kind of matter is like drawing comic at the same time there. You just have to draw some panels and plan your visuals, your story and visuals, right? So according to the script that you have. Right? Those are the things that you can actually done directly. So yes, I say even though I can show you guys but it's, it's all based on the planning itself, right? how many panels that you want to use. Okay, this is one of the motion kind of preview animations from the my little pony so we here, right? So the planning the work itself, for example, like your own comics. Let's just say the size that you're going to use are going to be A4 size, <coughs> right? About 11 for example, full inch, right? 150 dpi. So, what other thing that you want to show to us? It's all about your ideas there. So, what I can do, I sketch it up my ideas. That's it. I'm going to use a blue pen, pencil pen. Anyway, what I'm going to do. This is the first panel, maybe. It's a CP basically, right? And then the next panels, right? And uh, they have around four panels over here. So I'm going to create the characters over here. Look at the CP there. And then what else you can do? I can actually focus on the characters over here. And then the next thing is. Character from side profiles, right? Sitting on the bench or on the buildings directly. The scenery is there. Suddenly, there's a UFO coming there, right? And that. So, this is how we're planning the visuals there, right? How many pages that you guys have to create? How many? Ten, sir. Ten, there, right? Ooh. You have to plan right now, there, right? So this is the first page. Of course, you have to draw the script there first, there, right? Then do some research a bit more, right? Okay? Sometimes we can escape, right? Okay? Some of the panels, so okay, can be a bit kind of not. You don't have to plan the whole thing in. The same manner directly, okay? depending directly, okay? what are the things that you want to visualize from the, from the story itself directly. Right? Okay, good. Characters over here, see a UFO, and then the UFO turning around. Okay, maybe I want to use this page, only two panels only directly. Okay? And so this, this is what actually I have, right? Looks quite, really basically it's not directly, okay? because I just, planning a simple kind of story there. Right now, okay, the aliens, okay, the you create the aliens came in over here, meet the boy who is actually sitting around the, the building, for example, this page there, right? Then you can add some details there. When you want to create some ideas, you don't have to add a lot of details. I used to to develop a lot of detailing on every each sketches there, and then I start with the ideas there. I did cannot move around. We have the mental, I really have the creative kind of blocks, but not mental talks there, right? It's creative blocks there, right? That what makes we don't find the flow there, right? Okay? This one, the titles there, okay? Basically, the, the main features over here, okay, what actually we have to say the titles there. So, create the design titles over here for the comics there. Right? First of all, the buildings. Basically, for three, what are the things going to be the page of the next panel there? And we focus on the main characters. We emphasize the established shots for the characters there, how the series begin there, okay? What basically makes the things happen there, right? Okay? And then put into the more kind of obvious for the audience to see. Oh, so we also came in over to this guy, and then the aliens came in and floating, right? Okay? On top of the roof to this guy, the guy is 
in shock. And then the next stage, what happens there? All right, what happens over there? Think any kind of possibility that you can actually find from there. But right? for example, here, right, we cut into these two different kind of frames. The boy feel a bit kind of shocked. The aliens stare at him and put something like a gun there, right? See? And then suddenly, right, the aliens beam up the guy there, right? See? And then the next thing is he captured the guy, put into the spaceships, right? And fly all the planet, right? To the, to the, to the, Space there, right? See, and then all the things happen sometimes, maybe like that, right? So, think some things not too complicated you can start with, and then you can manipulate them, right? You can manipulate them from there, right? Any stories have the possibility that you can actually can twist around and change. You just have to open up your mind there, okay, to any kind of possibility that you can, right? Sometimes. Talking about what basically the the learning experience, the moral from there. Every story there will have a moral. Okay? You can create all these kind of situations there, morals there. Okay? But the things is it's not that easy. But to make it flows and make it more kind of different kind of approach on your stories there to make it a bit more unique or more out from the logic. Sometimes it's quite more easy there okay? because you think some ridiculous things, solutions that can be made, uh, visuals from the character from the story, and you made it into your comics. Right? So you just playing around there first, but the first, the most important thing that you have to remember there, right? Okay? How are you going to visualize them first? Because if you think a lot of the stories there, the moral of the stories, what happens from blah, 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 for example, there, right? But the visual also, you have the challenges, right? You still have the challenge, there, right? How actually you're going to compile the whole thing? How actually you're going to animate them, for example? But before that, can I actually write, commit myself in that 10 different kind of page deck for these stories there? So all these kind of Challenges you will face on your own there, okay? Without preparing yourself there. If you prepare, okay, right now I have three different pages there. I have to draw another copy. Another page there, okay? It works on that. It can be there, okay? But it looks like easy, but it's not, okay? But you have to try it. Sketch it out, rough ideas. Let it flow first, okay. When you have these stories there, okay, don't leave it there. Save it into JPEG files there first, right? Let me say this comic panel number one. And then save this this one. This is comic panel number two. For example, here, okay? when you actually have the JPEG files over here, then you can see the flow. Then you will see. A lot of possibility there from here. So I can save the JPEG file there. Right. So if you have that kind of ideas with you, right, okay, from the visual itself, don't Planning everything inside your head there, right? Okay? Transfer into the papers, right? Okay? As simple as you can do that. And then you see whether it's worked or not. Okay, this is the comic panel there. This one there, right? Okay? I have the first, uh, this is not the first page. The first page, second page, uh, second page, third page there, right? I can see the flow from here. Right. One, two, three. Cut them up. Put it over here. Oh, yeah. 
the remainder right so they can see get the flows there right see the flows there right? so you see the flows then you can add more and more details right if you want to maintain uh, basically the composition the layout what you can do from here right it's time to develop the characters right okay, for me right either you can actually straight ahead draw or you can also can draw in the different kind of layer set for example like this boy there right i can need to design them and just draw them this boy At the right. I have to maintain also the same time step. Why is he sitting over here? Okay. This is one of my earlier sketches. Around the on the top of the building there, but he actually doesn't want to see himself. It's not that like that. He's just sitting around like this. I always had this kind of feelings when I when I was like teenagers, right? He loves to sit on top of the buildings to see some of the scenery there. Okay. Yeah, I think there's some houses over there. I'm using very simple kind of composition that's a tree but you know there's a lot of things that we have to do so that's why you have to plan that first right there's the first panel what is this is this the alien there no or this is the boy there right close up of the boy there right the close up of the boy face Maintain basically the visuals there, right? See, those are the most important things. Right. And then, hmm, suddenly, you see at the sitting around here. One there. So these are the buildings there, right? And one of the spaceships came in there, right? So everything that I draw, basically, I'm not planning that, but I'm planning right now, right? Okay. Spaceships over here. So he kind of, kind of, take a while to set that right. This one, basically the building there, I think, so the, the building that he actually hit, this is the boy that is through there. So basically, right, so it's kind of. Buildings there, right? This is the house now. From here, has to be maintained there, right? Trees over here. So, planning is a lot, right? You cannot be doing last minute. I actually cannot see, right? If you not planning well this kind of projects, you're going to dry up, right? So, that's the second program rough. 
I managed to work with a very more proper kind of cash directly before I'm going to finalize them. There's another stage you have to color them up or you can clean up them back. All right, you can actually write, uh, improvise some of the elements there before you're going to finalize the whole thing. Right, there's a lot of stage there, right? You need to work on this. Uh, not an easy task. Right, drawing comics looks easy for me, but if I want to do a real project, they're not going to be like this. Normally, I'm going to choose there, okay? How it works there. But this is part of it. So I draw on top of this bit. Okay, that's it, all right. So the panel itself, if I can use like this kind of panels over here, frames, you can go to edit, strokes. How many? Right around five frames, five strokes there for my panels. One. And it strokes. Selection first. Right. I'm going to work with this. Edit strokes over there, and the last one there. Right. Maintain basically the the length that I put in every single panel there. People always worry about their panels at the same time. That right? I used also to do the same thing, right? but nowadays this is right in computers where we can do a lot of right? okay. So that's it already. This is some other thing that we can learn there already. The titles, what is it? The titles are there. Aliens more wrong there already. I don't know where I did the name there. <laughs> Alright. Aliens more wrong there. Maybe. Right. Do I need that? Right? More wrong there. Right. So normally, right here. Two different kind of names I can actually write using uh, what we call that. Two different kind of layers there. And I can actually write. Design the different kind of composition and size there to arrange basically the titles at the same time. So composition theory, the building theory, is basically to emphasize the storage, the first panels, and the uh, composition from here, layout that can be arranged. Some of the things that we don't actually add from here, we can actually put the arrangement of our titles there at the same time that we're writing. So what are the things that we can do from here? We can actually start to look into right, the right kind of typeface there. For my titles there, right? Okay. okay. Aliens, basically. I'm using this one there. Let me change that. Oh. But more wrong, basically, I'm going to use that one. So I'm going to rasterize the type that first so they won't actually bring some effect from there. This one, the aliens, you can change the rest. I find one of the nice. Enough. Later, okay. It's a very simple kind of composition here, but it gives the right kind of personalities for my visuals there. All right. So 
find the right kind of Thai priest, also important, I bet some of you guys actually have experienced them, to find the right kind of computer soon from here. I can add also a logo type from here, if logo design again, there's an alien logo design, if I want to create the right to make it more interesting. These are the things okay, that we actually can develop from here. Okay. So the first rough ideas into more uh, clean up, uh, not clean up, but the, the rough draft of your kind of comics into more rough sketches there first before you finalize them, clean up line, color them up, and rearrange the layers there right okay and compose in different kind of layers if you want to if you don't want to there okay uh, maybe because the aliens titles okay the titles can be arranged in different layers there so you can animate them right some of the elements that you want to animate from the panels you can actually do it as well like moving the legs and the head basically there okay you can actually uh what we call that Visualize this guy, right? Basically, right, this guy there, brush, wearing a phone, right? And headphones there. Let's listen to the, the music there, right? Bluetooth also can, right? Okay? Those are the ideas that you develop along the way, right? When you actually plan your kind of visual earlier, and of course, right, you can actually right do it more better, right? Okay. I actually try to create the characters at the same time. Okay? I want to make this guy look more cool. Sorry, maybe your glasses there, right? Maybe some shapes there, even though at night, he's wearing shapes. Right? He smokes a bit, right? He's a very bad kind of boy there, maybe, right? Even though some cigarettes cannot be all that apply on some of the commercial kind of things anymore, right? I don't know. You want to try them? Go ahead. Even though I'm not a smoker, say. There right. Because the cigarettes can be animated there, right? Okay? They're what we call the smoke there, right? Okay? Very simple kind of animation. Because at the same time, these aliens kind of things also can be animated, right? Okay? If you actually right, uh, select different layers there, for example, five things can work there, right? Keyboard, maybe it's back to you. you can actually move around there, something like this. Right. You can move around there. So, from sketches, also, you can actually plan how actually you're going to move your, your kind of comics there, motion comics there, so around there. Okay. So that's why planning is really important here. Okay. Tapping. Okay, guys, any questions there so far? 
you know. Hey, you, are you still here? They're right. Yeah, I'm here. Why? Okay. I just want to hear your voice. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay, guys, thank you very much. There, okay. So hopefully, right, these sessions will enhance a bit more on your planning deficits, right? On your planning deficits, right? Okay. Uh, to develop, okay, your kind of kind of working kind of process for your final works there, right? Okay. And of course, make sure you do it earlier there, right? Okay. Earlier there. Don't do it at the last minute because. Creating the third kind of assignments projects, I think it takes quite some time there. Right? This is week seven. You've got around seven more weeks there to complete, I believe, or maybe six weeks there to complete around one or two months there. Right? And make sure you do it well then, right? Don't do it last minute, right? And develop from there, there right? Okay? So if you have any questions, make sure you provide us basically some options there, right? Don't say that you cannot have the stories there, you don't know what to say, the way you have to draw the writing. Because I think Miss Anis actually has provided you guys some of the ideas that work, and you guys also have been watched a lot of anime more than me directly. So the ideas can came from also from there. You just have to manipulate from there directly. You just have to play around from there. Alright guys, okay, thank you very much for having me today. And hopefully you guys will actually do a little bit kind of exercise from the GIF animation, planning your works back again, and also play with after effects. Okay, just take a look at after effects. What can be can you guys can actually work from there? But you need to have the visual first, right? Those are the things there, and then we can see how actually work from there. And even though okay, this comic, I don't know whether I'm going to work with this kind of ideas there, right? But if I find out that you know, this, one, okay. this kind of thing can be worked later on, I will work on it directly. If I find different ideas, I will work on that later on directly. So, idea can be changed there, okay? I take this idea, I develop those ideas a few seconds only for you guys, just to give some sort of understanding there, okay? So, thank you very much. Have a nice day. Right, and also have a good kind of weekend there, hopefully, right, okay, for some of you guys, and all the best. Thank you very much, guys. Have a good evening.